Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. So, when I reloaded the game to start recording, uh, Nanny Dooley gave us two more cups of tea and sandwiches. So, I don't know if that's gonna have anything to do with anything down the road. We're gonna have to figure that out. But, first off, we have a dude in the closet with knitting needles and twine. So let's let's talk to the upside down man in closet. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> ah. Now, Seamus, no hissing at people while you're in my room. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> what do you want to know? Um. Who are you? Seamus, the caretaker. I take care of the place, but not in the bang bang mafian sense of the take care in the men's chairs and water plants way. Um, wh wh why are you hanging in Nanny Dooley's closet? Trying to get a nap in, clearly. Being upside down is for uh, my spine. Convincing. Really? Sounded very dodgy to me. Uh, agreed. I was saying that ironically. See, I'd have gotten that if I had a, if we had voice acting. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Hey, I remember you. Oh, he was the dude in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, sunbathing and by the pool in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you from the motel last season. Okay, cool. Why do you have this sudden feel? Why do I have this sudden feeling like I've been wasting my time or wasting my life chasing monsters? Man, I'm just a guy innocently hanging upside down in a closet, not a therapist. Let's see what she says. Oh, why is there a man in your closet? Why are you looking in my closet, huh? Maybe I don't want you to see the men I've hidden there. Maybe that's why they're hiding. Relax. He's here. To, he's there to hide from the ruckus outside. Why is he hanging upside down? For his spine? I don't know. I don't go around asking other people about their business. Okay, so, well, I guess we can look at her needles. Needles and twine. Those are old needles. Do you want them? Little Patrick is always telling me how you like to stuff random things into your pockets. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Klepto. <laughs> so we have knitting needles. We can go outside to the courtyard now. We're out to the hallway. Let's just go out to the courtyard. I feel weird. Yeah, me too. In there... I wanted to get into a fast pursuit with a centaur or something. Something thrilling. I was ready to give up being a cop and pursue my lifelong dream of not being a cop. It's fading since we left that room. I suspect we need to look into Seamus a bit more. So we can go into the hallway. We have a locked door. Everything's still on fire here. I wonder if the old dude will let us in now. Which was this guy? Nope. Okay, yeah, this is the same thing as before. So, we have the blockade. And we have sandwiches. Can we go in here now? Nope. Um. Do we need to. Did we... Uh, I guess... Do, I, I guess we did ask about this stuff. What's going on around here? The residents are full of energy today. It's proving hard to track down, track and calm them all down. Track them down? Yeah, they have free reign. This isn't a prison camp. Wait. Why do I feel like I've read this already? We don't have location monitors on the patients. Not anymore. Who received posts today? 
Hmm, a few people. Some of the residents and the caretaker. Seamus. Hmm, on a normal day, where would I find Seamus? He's usually all over the place, talking to the patients and that. He's very good with them, but he mostly works out of the laundry room. Ah, uh, the door. Can you tell me about the caretaker? Seamus? He takes care of the place. What? Do you want me to tell you he spends all of his free time in the laundry room or something? Yes, that's exactly what I want you to tell me. Oh, well, you're welcome. So maybe I can get the key now. So let's go check out the laundry room real quick. Yeah, the paper and the needles. That's exactly what I needed. I don't know why I needed the sandwiches. Or the table. I guess we'll find out. We'll slide this under like this. And then we'll use it on the closet. Okay, the paper's in place. Let's poke this key out. So we have the closet key. And we still have a credit card. And a self-assembly table. And cups of tea. Can we drink the cups of tea? Can I give it to Dooley? Well, fine. Then, I guess. Can we give it to everybody else? I don't know. I just feel like we should be able to... Uh, do you want do you want tea? Do you want a sandwich? Do you want a sandwich? No, okay. I guess we actually have to use them for something. Anyway, let's use the key on the closet. Let's see what's in here then. Wait, does he live in here? Have you seen the rental market? Something's something cozy like this is a find. I like it. It's homely. So we have a sad lamp. A sex swing. Garlic. Religious stuff. Photo. Books. Dresser. And the rubbish. We always gotta look in the rubbish bin. It's empty. But there are bits of torn up mail all around it. Whatever post he got, he must have thrown it out. Might be important. Oh, now we have to go get the key to look into the trash. Or that bag. Looks like an inversion chin bar, but without the leg cuffs. If going by is hanging upside down in your Nan's closet is anything to go by, that and the lack of bed in here, I think he sleeps on that. Uncomfortable, but impressive. Who keeps garlic on their wall? It's pretty loose, so not this guy anymore. It's a collection of religious icons from a number of faiths. Class photo. Ooh. It must be Seamus. Seamus's. Looks like he graduated alone. No, wait. Look at the clothes. There are others right all there, all right? They're just invisible. The plaque says Class of 1809. E. Bathory. C. Orlock. V. Tepes. <laughs> oh, game. S. Murphy. C. Count. M. Karnstein and L. Ooh. De, De Lion Court? De Leon Cole? S. Murphy. That's our Seamus, the caretaker. Who? The caretaker. We're in his room. Caretaker? What caretaker? The guy in your Nan's closet hanging upside down. Not ringing any bells. Sorry, detective. Why do we need the glass photo? Stack of self-help books. They look recently purchased. Normal enough stuff. Socks, pants, vest, and a black cape with a red velvet lining and high collar. Wait, one of those things was not as normal as the others. Oh, there's a set of keys in here. They could be useful. Smelly keys. Gross. So I think that's where we're going to get... to the courtyard. We can go... Wait a minute. We have to go out the back from the... Did not mean to clip. Click. Click. Not clip. I didn't mean to clip either. So we go out from the kitchen. Now we can use the keys on the bins. Okay, let's see what's in these. Hmm. There's a copy of the media magazine variation, variation here. Has a note attached. Just wanted to share the good news. V. Interesting. 
Well, mine's just filled with throwaway teeth. Nightmare fuel. I'm not seeing anything here. What about you, Dooley? What? Oh. Eh, no. You weren't looking, were you? Look, you know I wasn't looking. I know I wasn't looking, but you can't prove anything. So let's move on, yeah? This issue may, this issue's main focus needs to be on a film about Dracula that's coming out. Dracula? He's a famous vampire based off an old European count, Vlad Tepes. Uh, name doesn't ring a bell, but where would I have met him? I mean, you wouldn't have met him. He died centuries ago. Oh, okay. I understand. Right. So, uh, do we go to Europe to arrest him, or is there a TLPD EU spin-off show? We're not. We're, we're, we're not arresting him. So, we just let him get away with it? Away with what? It's just a story. Hmm. Sure. That's what they say about the platypus. But I know for... I know it's out there. I'll find you yet, you duck-faced raccoon. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that there was going to be more to it. I love garlic, but hanging in your room? Even I know that's not normal. Alright, so we have a table... Garlic, the photo, our credit card. They're still up here. Oh, well, I guess I'll go this way then. Um, do we use the garlic on him? Can we go in here yet? No. Is she going to give us more... Oh, she is. There's no meat on those bones, boys. You need to eat something. Really, we really don't need... I won't hear no for an answer. Oh, okay then. How many of these can I have? I'm gonna go in and back in. We don't need any more, thanks. Speak for yourself. Can I get more? <laughs> I always want to keep getting more. More tea? Always! Eh, I guess. I'm gonna max it out. Thanks, Nanny. Wait, are we done? I, I wonder if like, there's an achievement to just get a bajillion cups of tea. Like, get the max. How far does it go? Do I have the patience? Do I pause the video until I have, like, 99? So, it's not stopping. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't mean to click on... Anyway. Uh, can we talk to him? No. Um. Can we throw the garlic at him? Oh, garlic, my fave. But it's too late for a snack. Oh, okay. Um, can you tell me about your photo? This mean anything to you? Other than you broke into my room and stole something? Yes, clearly, apart from that, that, that was evident. Novelty photo from a fair I went to last summer with some old college mates. It's all fake. Hmm. There's something here I'm missing. I feel like I have to have all the pieces, but I just haven't put it all together yet. Do I, uh... Do I, uh... Oh, I have to use it on there. Wait, Vlad Tepish? That must be V. Tepish from the Seamus' class photo. He's getting a film made about his life. Maybe that has something to do with all this. Let's ask Seamus. So we have evidence now. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more time. Man... The urge to literally do this is rising. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to see how far this goes. Never mind. It went this far. I I went in two more times. Or one more time, I think. And uh, there it is. I can't believe it, but that's me out of things to offer you. How embarrassing. I'll say I'm still hungry. 
So yeah, it's it like one more time. So yeah, 30 was the max. So, alright, upside down man in closet. We need to give you evidence. This evidence. Why is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula real? Eh. Are, are, are you a vampire? I mean, define vampire. Blood-sucking monster? First of all, monster's a loaded term, and not all vampires drain blood. That's just, uh, sanguinarians. Uh, there are emotional vampires, too, and reverse versions of both. I'm a reverse emotional vampire. People feel what I feel. Wait, how does a reverse sanguinarian work? Fairly disgustingly. At best, it's a guy in an alley offering you a sack of blood. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to know what the worst case is. So wait, if you're a reverse emotional vampire and everyone here is acting up... Uh, when Vlad sent me his film stuff, I started thinking, what am I doing with my life? Everyone else is just so famous and respected. I'm just this caretaker, you know? Maybe I need to change what I'm doing, you know? You're having an un mid unlife crisis. So everyone here is having one too. Yeah, sorry about that. Not much I can do to change it. Okay, Dooley. All we need to do is cheer this guy up and everyone will stop acting like loons. How, how do we cheer this guy up? Do you want a, do you want a cup of tea? Right, so we have to cheer this guy up. Um, oh, mm, the lights are back on in the staff room. The snoring has stopped, too. I didn't want to say, but that's snoring, right? It was something else. No wonder everyone is off their rocker. The real mystery here is probably sleep deprivation. Oh boy, who's this? We have a, we have a witch doctor. Animal throw rug, notice board, clock, lamps, a mug, toolbox, vending machine. We got all this stuff to look at. We have tons of stuff to look at. Why isn't our staff room as romantic as this? Because your staff room doesn't have me in it. You're welcome, baby. A set of strange looking keys. They're mine, my hex keys. I use them to curse people and build flat back furniture. I sense you're going to need them, so you can have them if you promise to bring them back. I don't think we've ever returned. Shh, Dooley, um, of course we'll bring them back. Right back, as soon as we're done. I sense that you won't. Oh man, this guy's spooky. This is like the podium back at the station, except it doesn't have the McQueen Smooch's... <laughs> McQueen Smooch's spooks carved into it. God damn it, McKean. Yeah, McKean. Seems to be the staff wrote Rhoda. Some post-its, too. Sue says the next con coven meeting has been moved to as the community hall was booked by the local <laughs> Illuminati chapter. <laughs> That <laughs> figure is crazy. Wang rang to say that he's out of Yang Land. <laughs> Fine practice voodoo doll. Martin says he's all pins and needles since the last session. Boo! <laughs> but not in a good way. Eh, they could be anyone's private, by the way. Notes. Somebody left a toolbox here. Oh, Seamus was trying to fix the vending machine. He must have forgotten to tidy up in all the chaos. Mm. I wonder if there's anything in of interest in here. Oh, maybe the screwdriver? Screwdriver? More like steak driver, am I right? You know he's a vampire, right? That's really offensive. I realized as soon as I said it, I feel terrible. Wait, there's no food in here. It's just clean socks, religious tomes, and rhyming couplet predictions. Ah, uh, damn things bust. Listen, the brown cloaked man will get this place out of a jam. With a gift, the spirits will be lifted. 
Sure, it's accurate, but those are some dirty rhymes, jeez. Normal visiting hours are almost done, which means it's almost conjugal time. Yeah. Do you like it? You can take it home with you if you'd like. My little gift to you. Thanks, but it's him who's more into taking items. Oh, he cannot have it. It is not for him. I wouldn't drink that. Um, building up my tolerance for... of... Etir? Etir? Is that supposed to be like Ether or something? Etir for a trip to Midgard. Various notices for staff. Please don't smuggle the elderly out for raves. <laughs> Stop stealing dentures, we're going to find you. Practicing witchcraft on or for the patients is frowned upon. <laughs> of course they'd say that. A large white rug-like throw. What kind of animal is this? The unclassified kind. I killed that baby when I was on my Erasmus scholarship for the lost city of Zid. Z Z Z. I don't know why I read it like that. Just because the lost city of Z sounds boring, so I said it the Canadian way. Doctor, any opinions on what's happening here? Happening here? Everything seems pretty normal to me. What? Everyone's acting like wild teenagers. How can you think that's normal? Teenagers are pretty wild, man. Yeah, but old people aren't. You... you just said they were. You're making no sense. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the resident medical expert, after all. You mean medical expert, Shirley? I mean, mean what I said. Now, let me go back to my nap before I make a voodoo doll out of all these parking tickets I have in my pocket. Oh boy, so, uh... We have a throw rug, a screwdriver, a hex key... I get it. Hex keys. Garlic. Maybe maybe the old man, or is the barricade down yet? No. And I hear noises coming from the side. Hello? Okay, yeah, it's this dude. I'll start clicking things together here in a second, just seeing if anybody else has anything else to say. So, nothing else anywhere. I wonder if the... Oh, the guy's not even here anymore. That's right. <laughs> I never trusted that bear. Alright, so let's see if we can put anything together. Um, the garlic in the throw rug. Nope. Alright, so what do we need the hex key for? Got dishes. So we need to make this dude happy. Um, so we have a table. I feel like we have to like make something for him. This is the wrong tool. Uh, do I need the hex key? This is the right tool I needed to build the table. But I should bring this lot to wherever I want to set it up first. Alright, so we need to set something up somewhere. But I don't know where. Do we set it up in his room? Do we set it up in her room? Um, let's see. So we need to figure out... Oh, we didn't look at the sad lamp. 
Cheer up, lamp. It can't rain all the time. Eric? What? No! <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there, game. Um, right, so we need to figure out where we're setting all this stuff up. I don't think it's going to be in her room, is it? Uh, maybe it's out in the gardens. Yep, out here might do for an award party. What do we need? What do we need to jazz the place up? Well, in my mind, it's not a party without food and drink. I guess if it's an award thing, we need a red carpet and a way to get him out of here. Uh, what do we know about reverse vampires? Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention when Doris told us last season. I can't recall. E Wait, did she? <laughs> did she say something last game? Uh, I can't recall either. Uh, well, his room suggested daytime. Well, his room suggested daytime. Good. Night, bad. And pro garlic. You know, the reverse of normal vampire things. Uh, can you write that all down, Dooley? Sure. Food, drink, other things Dooley likes. Check and check. Fine, I'll make the list. You can, can you can even ask me if you want proof. All right, so we need to set up the table. Cool, you do that, and I'll uh, keep watch. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be a. Why? Why is this a? Why is this turning into IKEA? Right. Let's see what we have here. Some legs. A top and a few holdy together -y bits. I just have to follow the instructions to assemble. Okay, so the instructions are in Swedish. No problem. I'll just use the picture easy, right? <laughs> Borked. So, and then we go. Yeah, I don't understand why this is even a puzzle. There we go, one borked table, ready for use. I thought it was going to be a uh, much bigger um, puzzle. Uh, so how do we hang up? So I guess we have to hang, do we put this down somewhere? A white carpet? It seems to lack the gravitas we want. Oh, we have to dye this. Oh, we have to we have to throw it in the wash. Do we mix this with this? Do we throw this in here? It's a tight fit, but it's in. I just need something to turn it red. Um, so we need something red. I wonder if that guy still has a banner. Let's go ask him real quick. Okay, wait, do I have to take the top off the screwdriver? That won't make sense. Does that make sense? Am I actually throwing the screwdriver in there? Okay. So, we need to figure out something that will turn it... <coughs> oh. Are we taking off the sad lamp? I think, I think I yank this off and break it. I'll find another light. I need to find another light source. Oh. Okay. Well, when we come back, we will uh, keep looking around. See if we can find what we need to make the groundskeeper super happy. Also, these episodes, these cases are taking forever. I like it. So when we come back, we'll uh, see what we can find. Till then, you take care. And of course, have a good one.